Well, hey everybody, it's me, Mike, with Team Brothership, and I am here starting a Super Metroid Let's Play. I think we all, I think we all knew it was coming someday. Um, I'm actually this. My hope for this is actually that I can bang this one out in like two to four episodes. Um, there's some other Let's Plays that I've been planning on doing, but now I'm I'm also kind of working on. Um, it's already gone. Uh, I'm also kind of working on my last episode of the kind of epilogue endings episode of Chrono Trigger. Um, so while I'm working on that, and I've got some other things planned that I'd, I'd kind of like to do with Paul and John, um, we'll do this one just to kind of fill in a little bit. Um, oh, I do need to change the controller, though. Uh, there's... This is always kind of funky... Yeah, I don't know why. All right, yeah, I think that's all. Okay. Yeah, they have this. The yeah, it's a little funny <laughs> in this one. Um, interesting tidbit that I'm gonna. The last the... Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy. Is at peace. It's actually some pretty good uh, speech samples there. Not not hollow or crackly. Um, and a little bit chatty for Samus. This being in... I'm a little concerned that we're going to get copyright claimed on this one because of the music. Because I feel like Metroid... Nintendo is oddly protective of Metroid in certain ways. Even though they, they kind of seem to hate the... The, um... <laughs> the brand. Um... So, uh, this is a game that I I don't have as well memorized as others, and I know I always say that, and then it turns into a big zoo, but um, the nice thing about Super Metroid is you, you don't kind of have to have things memorized, because the level design is genuinely sublime. Um, it, it really does a fantastic job of just kind of leading you to where you need to go. I mean, you can obviously pop off the beaten path and explore. That's what Metroid is known for. But this game has probably, I would say, among the best level designs of, of any game ever. Um, but yeah, so here we go. We've got our intro. This is actually... There's always been a strain, I feel like, in Metroid between open exploration and, and story. Um, people complain about the newer ones, but that was definitely there from the beginning. I mean, the first game was completely open, had practically no story. In fact, the, the instruction manual lies about the story. Um, and But then by the third game, you're already getting you know, this kind of opening wall of text. To, to be fair, I don't have a problem with this. I'm not complaining about it. I, I don't think it's an issue, but I know some people are like, oh, new Metroids have too much story, which, to be fair, they do. <laughs> but um, I'm just saying it, it was kind of there from the very beginning. Um, so a little bit of an inter interesting aside, this is like the most... I actually like this shot a lot, though. It looks very um, American comic booky almost. Uh, most random piece of trivia I'll give out this whole episode. Um, if you... Just remembering the controls a little bit. Um, if you replace the battery... I'm, I'm playing this on a, uh, a Super Metroid Super Nintendo cartridge. Um, if you replace the battery in your Super Metroid at any point, because, you know, it is getting to that time where a lot of SNES batteries are starting to fail. Uh, if you replace the battery before you can start a new file, you need to um, erase all of the files that are in there, which, I mean, they're, they're, you're going to lose your file when you replace the... Oh no, it's dead people. And not in the fun Haley Joel Osment kind of way. Um... You're going to lose your saves when you replace the battery anyway, so that's not the problem. Um, but if you don't, when you load the save, or when you try to start an, a file with that save, um, you will start at the very first screen of this station and then just immediately die. It's a weird little, like, 
I don't want to call it a glitch. It's just the way that the, the data works. Okay, well, I've said enough about nonsense. Hey, there's the Metroid that I'm looking for. We're good then. Come on, let's go, baby. It's time to... Oh, my God, what is that? It's Ridley. Um, oops. Whoa. Ah. Um, you, you, whoa. Whoa. Um, you can't actually win this battle. Although, oh, ah. I will say, um, you, you, you can actually chase him away. Um, you can actually... Alright, gotta go. The famed Metroid self-destruct sequence. Uh, you actually do have to move at a fairly steady clip here. It, it is possible to die here, and I always get a little nervous about that, because it's embarrassing. Um, and there's crap that'll, like, pop out of the walls. So the steam will knock you back. It doesn't actually hurt you, though, which is good, because... So, um, you'll notice during the fight, though, that like he does start to change color in the way that Metroid bosses do as you pummel them. Um, ah. Oh no! Yeah, this is what I wanted to avoid. <sighs> Come on, I can't see where I am. For... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeez, would have been embarrassing. Um, you can actually drive him away. If you deal enough damage, he'll just fly off on his own before you get to critical health. Otherwise, he just pummels you until you get to critical health, and he leaves. Here we go, back to planet Zeb. Well, it's another name that I've read a thousand times, but never actually pronounced out loud. Zebas? Zebes? Good old Zebes. What's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you can actually return to Sh Samus's ship uh, periodically throughout the game, and it actually does um, double as a save point, which is convenient. Uh, there we go. It's one of those ones, right, that confirm and deny is a little different in this game compared to, like, the normal U.S. release. Alright. Um, I'm honestly a little worried that I'm not going to have a ton to say about this game because it's Super Metroid and everybody has already said everything humanly possible that one can say about Super Metroid. I mean, I guess I can talk a little bit about how kind of spooky this opening is. And if you've played the original Metroid, it's, it's kind of cool, because you, you are, in fact, going back through... Um, I don't think of that way yet. Um, you are, in fact, going through the same, roughly the same areas from the beginning of the game. So it's got that kind of spooky vibe to it. And it's neat seeing things in, you know, higher fidelity. You went from... I mean, Metroid was a, a fairly early um, Famicom... Oh, and here we are. We're in the chamber from the original uh, game's final boss room. So we're kind of going backwards through the game. very atmospheric music as opposed to the kind of driving um, a lot of Nintendo music I feel like tends to drive the action where uh, this is not it's more background yeah, and here we go as you know you always go to the left to get the morph ball now yeah. we set off the security system though they know we're here I think we can go back now, but I want to go this way for a second. There is... Is it the next room over? There's going to be a dead end. Um, 
Yeah, I think it's the next room. There's... Alright. Got missiles. They don't really explain how Samus um, loses her gear between Metroid uh, 2 and this one. Well, there go all the missiles. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's an energy tank. Oh, there it is, but I, there's no way I can get that. Oh, I'm so close. So close. I'll have to come back. Some more missile hookups. Um, now, Zero Mission did insert a little story beat where they explain why she lost her gear um, at the end of the first game. Or some of it, anyways. Sort of. Um, <clears throat> but they don't really explain the second game. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, Super Metroid is a game I, I of the Metroidvania formula. I don't know. Something's changed. It's more lit up in here. Oh my god, there's pirates. Yeah, let's refill our missiles. They're gonna start shooting at us if we're not careful. Samus did a weird little maneuver there, which is actually her um, wall jump. Oh, you'll notice the door flashed a little bit, too. That, uh, I don't think any of the earlier games had uh, the little bit, whoa, skinny platforms, um, had the little bit where, like, you had to clear out kind of Zelda style, but there are a few rooms in Super Metroid where, yeah, like Zelda style, you have to um, you have to clear out all the enemies before you can move on. And you'll notice Samus does two different types of jumps too, depending upon. Um, how you hold the controller. If you jump before you hold the direction, you do like a straight up jump, or if you hold the direction and jump, she does her somersault, which, um, okay. So it, it makes sense that the space pirates were hiding, like that's kind of their jam, but why were these guys hiding? Are these, like, these look, I've always thought those things were like animals. Ah. Alright. First things first. We gotta get more uh, health and a better gun. Those are top priorities. There we go. That's a map. Which you're probably not gonna use a whole lot. This is a game that's fairly um, front-loaded as far as difficulty goes. A, uh, an entry-level Samus with her pea shooter and one tank of health is extraordinarily vulnerable, while an endgame Samus with a variety of guns and things at her disposal and probably over a dozen different, um, oh, damn, I need bombs. I forgot. Like I said, I do not have this game memorized, so I remember vaguely where things <laughs> are. And I remember the order that you need to do things, more or less. No, oh, I've got a really sleepy kitty sitting in the corner. I should also mention, things have been a bit... I 
feel like on the internet, when people say, like, oh, it was a little delayed, they mean, like, things are going to take three more years. I, I don't mean that. It's just been, um, I, <laughs> my house said flying squirrels get into it, um, which I've never even, like, seen them around here. <laughs> They're apparently native to my living room. Oop. Yeah, we do need bombs, too, because there's just a lot of other stuff that's going to open up once we get those. Oh, God. So that's that's been exciting. Journey of discovery. Ah, crap. I forgot about this guy. I knew he was here, but I I thought it was coming a little bit later. This is the first boss fight. It is the Chozo statue. Uh, and this guy's kind of hard, actually. Ah. Very vulnerable right now. Ah. Did we get him? Almost. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kinda easy to get offed by that guy if you're not careful. But we got our bombs now, so we can start digging through the terrain. Oh, I really want a better gun though. The nice thing is the bosses always uh, drop a lot of extra stuff for us. Whoa. That's a that's a bomb. So the bombs are unlimited. You can put down I think three at a time. Um, they are not really a weapon. <laughs> I mean, you can use them, you can kill a handful of things with them, but they are um, primarily useful for navigation. Um, and there's actually some tricks where you can fairly early in the game use them. Um, just an FYI, if you, if you bang into the debris that comes from killing those things, you'll, you'll take some damage. Uh, what was, it was, you know, all right, before we move on, I'm gonna go this way and grab whatever this is, which, I don't actually think is anything that useful. It's probably just some more missiles, which I shouldn't complain about. They're uh, they're in short supply. Oh, the next one down. They are in short supply in this early juncture in the game. You'll also notice any of the doors that I opened with missiles don't reseal with missiles. Once you've opened a missile door, it's it's open for good. But that's good. I mean, we will. So you can also use the the bombs if you time it just right to like kind of climb walls early in the in the game and sequence break a little bit. Um, I'm probably not gonna do much of. Ah, nice. There, it kind of shows you that you can use them for extra stuff. Um, I'm probably not going to do a lot of that just because I, it can take a while, and I don't want to waste everybody's time. I try to be very conscious of the fact that there are many other ways that you could be spending your afternoons, evenings, what have you, than with me. Uh, these have, there's like these little pods with guys that come out of them. Ooh. They're kind of annoying. Yeah, maybe they're further down, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm misremembering. Oops, I don't think that guy died. Whoa. What am I hitting? 
Ah, there we go, okay. <laughs> I mean, in the grand scheme of things, like, towards the end of the game, there's gonna be things that can take off an entire energy tank with one blow, but right now, that effectively doubles our health. Um, are these the ones that you need missiles for? Yes. That's fine. They also seem to drop missiles, so it's very convenient like that. already seeing that um, there are just checking because I can't remember where any of the secrets are in this game <laughs> you can already see that the map does not entirely doesn't show you everything we, we're not going to be able to go this way but I just want to run down here for a second I think this is the crashed spaceship right oh no it's this all right, this is where we, it's kind of giving us our mission. There are these four bosses that we need to off, and then this area opens up and we can move forward. It's kind of similar to the first Metroid where there was the the Kraid and Ridley statues that you had to take out to get through the Mother Brain. I mean, in, in the same way that a lot of Super Nintendo games were kind of like, uh, those guys, I think, ow. Missiles. Oh yeah, this is the friggin' things that pop out of the little pods. Alright, you're all dead, I'll go away. Um no, there's another one. In the same way that a lot of Super Nintendo games, like, you know, John and I talked a little bit about how um like Super Castlevania is literally just the first game again. Uh Super Metroid is uh, it's not exactly the first Metroid, but it, it's... You're traversing a lot of the same territory. I got a very funky soundtrack here. Ow. Alright, let's open these up. Don't want to hit that guy by accident. Jeez. Those actually hit kind of hard if I'm remembering correctly. But there is, if I recall, an item somewhere in here that I can get. You'll notice again the door locked, so we have to. Is it here? The little dots on the maps indicate uh, where the items are, so it's helpful. But, as as you saw, uh, the maps are not totally complete. I do think there's another... Th oh! Yeah, that guy hits kind of hard for this point in the game. I do think there is something else in here, too, that I'm missing, but... So will be... Let's go this way. That looks like some good stuff. Then we can save afterwards. Famous last words. Oh yeah, little guys come out of here. I think we need to. Um, oh, we can't do this one yet because we gotta. We gotta be able to run past those. But we got some more missiles. This is how you heal in Metroid. You stand near these tubes and kill these guys. Castlevania, which I've played a lot more of. Oh, I, I did start to say that, like, uh, this we can definitely blow up. Oh, much later, though. It takes five missiles to open a door. Uh, where are we going? This way. Go towards the items first. We, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, these things. So, these will hurt you if you bang into them. 
but you actually want to avoid them because they are emitting the light in this room, so if you kill them, it gets dark, which makes it hard to see, and there's spikes and you can die. And I'll just a missile recharge point. There, there are like dozens of missile upgrades and um, health upgrades just kind of littered in weird places. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I'm gonna hit that one. There goes the light. Oh, but he dropped a little health, so that's good. Yeah, you see, it, it doesn't take many of these to put the lights out. It's already a little... Um, in a lot of ways, Samus is extremely maneuverable compared to, like, an other video game protagonist, but there's a, there's a heft to her movement that requires um, a little bit more, like, manual direction. Uh, yeah, we definitely need... There's also uh, ah, a trap in here somewhere. This room or the next one? Uh, must be the next room. Oh boy. This is burrowing through. Like a little gopher. Oh, it's right here. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna fall down here because I wanna. Oh, isn't it here? No, I guess I'm misremembering. There is a trap now. There is a trap coming up though. big room here, which I don't think I can actually get this item yet, because I think you need that grappling hook. Let's, um, let's head up. Something kind of like Scarab Beetles. Those things hit very hard for this point in the game. Save point. Excellent. I feel like usually you press up. It's in like Castlevania and stuff. To save, yeah, they definitely don't heal you. That was a Castlevania thing. That's why Castlevania rules. I, I still like Metroid quite a bit. I'm just, I definitely am more on the, uh, Castlevania side of things. Yeah, these are really strong. For I should say for this point in the game. Ah, crap. Oh. Beat me up a little bit. Uh, is this a boss? Is this the boss in here? It may very well be. Yes. Okay. Alright. I want to generally stay pretty low in this room. Okay. Until now. Whoa. Then we want to just firmly plant a missile in those things, in that thing's face. Uh, this fight may take me a little while, ah, unless I die. <laughs> Which is a, always a distinct possibility. Like I said, the difficulty in this game is very uh, front-loaded. As long as you stay relatively low, you're okay. But, um, you gotta keep those pollen out of the air. Somehow managed to reset my uh, 
whatchamacallit, my, my analog <laughs> system. So, that was cool. Ooh, ow. Alright, we got him on the ropes. He's gotten a lot faster. That's a good sign. He's getting weaker. Um, and as, <clears throat> as I kind of mentioned before, bosses in Metroid tend to change color as they... Um, as they expire. Oops. Ah! Ow, that would have been a good time to dump a lot of damage into him. Come on, duck. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Sorry for our brief aside where, uh... Shenanigans happened. And now we're back up to full health. Perfect. I'm guessing they're going to be super missiles at the top of this because um, there's a super missile door back at the bottom of that boss fight. Oh, not. All the way down. Super missiles. They're like missiles, but super. You need them to open certain doors, um, and they'll do, <coughs> obviously, more damage. Sometimes you can blow up the statues, too. Oh, well. Back we go. There's one. Oops, knocked a bunch of guys out of the ceiling. Oh, uh, actually. Does that mean we go up there then, right? Maybe just, no, I'm just hiding back there, there's no opening. I thought that actually revealed a secret or something, but nope. Um, those blocks function identically to the, the doors, except they've got ah, they've got a much clearer indicator of what you need to do to get them. Oh, some more missiles. Look at that. So let's knock my drink over. That's definitely a secret. Hey. Ah, the charge beam. So this lets you, uh, Mega Man style, charge up your shot. So your little pea shooter does... That does the equivalent damage of a missile for the most part. Oh yeah, you can come back here and blow that up. I wish there was a way to mark on your map. Um, there's a way to mark on your map things to return to, because Super Metroid especially, I feel like, um, there's a lot of things where you'll run into those little blocks or different things like that. Uh, Alright, there's something in there. Oh yeah. Ah. I can't go that way anyways. Hey. Watch out. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, these guys you gotta kind of be careful with. I cannot wait till I get the wave beam. Ah, uh, these are one-way doors. Drop super missiles, so that's pretty cool. We definitely want to go along the top, but I have a feeling it's going to collapse. So let's just clear out down here first. Yeah. There's, um... You'll notice, like I said about momentum, Samus definitely gains... 
speed as she moves. So you kind of have to... It's not going to let me do it. Or... Oh, okay, there we go. Now that's what I meant to do up top. I forgot that she can... actually has a you know, Mario-style speed boost. That's what I should have done up top with those doors, but that's okay. Uh, here we are going to come back much later when we've got a better jump. And we're also going to get kind of trapped down here. Ah, these things suck. They drain your, your health. Um, is it here? Alright, yeah. Pretty sure we can't actually go back because there was that one-way door at various points. Yeah, we're going to come back here much later. Uh, I think we can go down here at some point too, but let's go this way first. Uh, nice health recharge. You do kind of a quick pass through places, and then you head back into them to start actually killing off bosses and things like that. Ugh. This part is supremely annoying at this point in the game. Because um, even that little bit of water impedes Samus's mobility. Ugh. I'm gonna shoot this guy over here. Um, until. is a way to get up here, but I think we have to go around later. Um, but yeah, this this part is very obnoxious. Because those guys will pull you down and then you just get stuck. Samus's suit at present does not allow her to navigate easily in water. And we'll be back here. Yeah, we're cutting through the like water area. Um... Oh, hey, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to go back up. That might actually be useful. I knew there was a, something sneaky around here. All right, now I'm going to go back up for a second. <laughs> Don't want to waste my super missiles, but that seems like it might actually be a productive use of one of them. They're pretty good at... Uh, putting bosses down at this point in the game. Are they? Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can't do this yet. Well, so I wasted some super missiles, but I do remember this place. I'll be back here later. I think those blocks grow back, so... But maybe not, who knows. to Norfair. Again, this is just showing the quality level design. We gotta be a little bit careful, though, because... Okay. That looks like it's gonna close. Oh, damn it. We can get through here, though, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to take a minute to do this. We might have to start running outside, maybe, to get the head of steam that we need. That's fine. <sighs> Alright, never mind. We'll come back later. I feel like there's a way to get through there, but I'm not going to waste all of our time doing that. These guys drop super missiles, that's helpful. There are a few rooms in here, yes, that is one of them. <laughs> that will kill you just because you walked into them. Warfare has um, a lot of fire. <laughs> and that is problematic. Uh, I think we can go down here too, right? Yeah. All right, let's, ah, 
Oh boy. Let's do this first. Perfect. That's good. That's a big help again. You know, especially with these enemies dealing just like a little bit of damage. Um, it's extremely useful. Is this where the... Okay, there's some other stuff we can get in here. Uh, maybe not yet, though. Oh, actually, yeah, hold on. There we go. We'll talk a little bit more about that either later, but the, um... That jump is very convenient. If you know how to use it. Uh, I'm gonna actually go this way, because I don't remember what's over here. Hopefully more items. Perfect. Hold on. Get over there. I think this is the gun that I want. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the boots. High jump boots. <laughs> Which I already negated the need for. Where's my good gun? Oh well. If you know the wall jump, you can save yourself some hassle. Well, now we can go back the way that we uh, we came into here originally. So we can jump up some of those. Whoops. Oh, gotta kill that guy, though. Oops. Ah. I keep forgetting that I don't have the... Um... All right, here he comes. That I don't have the grab maneuver that you get in um, fusion and zero mission. <laughs> Makes things a lot easier. Alright, hold on. Keep hitting select for the map. Let's go down here for a second. Should I probably just use my gun to get down there? This guy gonna drop a super missile for me. He does not. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> Save point. That's always a plus. Can't go this way. Not yet, anyways. Alright, so we're heading back. But we've got that high jump now, so we can do some cool stuff. I know how much everyone enjoys watching somebody backtrack through one of these games. It's trying to aim this pea shooter is so annoying. That's the best part about getting the better guns, is you can you don't really have to aim anymore. <laughs> Like I said, Samus, you have a lot of control over Samus, but it's very, um... Oh, we can go through that hole I mentioned before. But it's very, uh... She's very weighty. Yeah, we gotta bust through. I think I can just use the missile, right? Alright. Go up here. Alright, there's some way we can get... somewhere around here, and I don't remember how we get it. This actually, it, I think it's supposed to be like a sculpture, but it kind of looks like a living being. Maybe the uh, crashed ship now. Which I think we can bust through some of these. Oops. Ah. Yeah, we can bust through some of the... Um, This way, though. I want to go that way. Get that item, whatever it is. Alright, we'll worry about that on the way back. Boss, you say? I sure hope there's a better gun beforehand. We already had Kraid. Ugh, 
desperately need. Uh, I think there's a thing there. Yes. Saw. That actually looked. It's hmm. not. That's the way to the boss. So let's let's go save first. Is this the one where there's like the little crappy guy first? This actually is Kraid. Wow, I wasn't expecting to run into him so fast. I thought I got a better gun before him. It's alright, he's not that bad. some damage. I probably should just use missiles, but I'm stingy like that. Um, there's definitely at least one spot where we can heal up beforehand, I remember. Stop shooting at me. This is getting annoying. Really annoying. Now oh, it's the little crappy crate. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, there's some place that I can heal up beforehand. Like I said, crate is not. Yeah, let's go up here. This looks promising. Perfect. Love it. Crate is not super hard, but I want to go into him uh, like loaded and ready to go. Otherwise, you gotta heal like a chump. Ah. Well, somebody didn't have a good go of it. This is it super missiles? Oh, come on. There we go. Wait, I'm out of super missiles? How did that happen? Damn it. Alright, hold on a second. I'm just gonna pause it. Alright, went back and got some super missiles. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, here we go. He's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit bigger than his prior incarnation. Yeah, here we go. This when the real fun starts. Yeah. Bit of a tight spot. Bit of a tight spot right now. In that where? Oh god! I'm kind of out of missiles. There we go. All right. Ooh. Like I said, he's not that bad, but. <laughs> 
early on in the game can be a little, a little shocking. Yeah, already upgraded, look at that. This is the more orangey look that uh, Samus is known for. I think we take quite a bit less damage this way, which is good. I could go look at what it actually says, but I'm not going to. They're still eating that guy. Might as well recharge while I'm here. So if we were playing original Metroid, we're like halfway done. <laughs> Not quite in this version, though. Desperately need it. Oh, this little guy came back. Alright, I'm gonna blow up these bug guys with missiles. I think there's a couple in here, right? No, no, it's just the space pirates. That I, I mean, need to use missiles on, so... There is that. Yeah, we take a lot less damage from them now. Anyway, um, I've been going for about 50 or so minutes. I, I don't think there's going to be a better break since this was kind of dramatic. We took down one of the major bosses, so that's cool. I wanted to find that better gun. I probably stupidly missed it someplace earlier along. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Again, this is not going to be a super long Let's Play series, even with my, my goof-ups. Um, we're going to wrap this one pretty fast. Super Metroid's not a crazy long game. But until then, I have been your host, Mike, with Team Brothership. Uh, and I hope you've had fun with me, and I hope you have a fun week. I'll see you all real soon.